Hi, my name's Dale, and welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. And this is the Q&A for two videos. One is how to clean a dial indicator, and the other one is the different types of vice handles that you can have on your milling machine. And I've got some great comments that came in that I want to talk about. So let's first talk about the cleaning of the Ames dial indicator. And one thing I never talked about this indicator, what also makes it rare is not just its size and that its accuracy is 10 thousandths of an inch, but it has a half an inch of travel right here, which is excellent. Very rare for a gauge that is accurate to 10 thousandths of an inch. I like Gary C's comment. Gary comes from the UK and he said, here in the UK it costs more to have the indicator repaired than it does to replace it in most times. Well, Gary, that's the same thing here in the United States. In the United States it costs about $100 to have an indicator repaired. And for, let's see, British pounds, that's about 70, 75 British pounds. It is expensive, especially when you can go buy a Taiwan version for you know anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars UK that would be what about 15 pounds and I agree with you it's really hard to spend that kind of money on an indicator but on that Ames if I couldn't have gotten it repaired I definitely would have sent it in just because it is such a unique device and it would be a shame to just have it tossed and never worked again. E. Hybert sent a note no wind to stop. <laughs> so when I decided about cleaning this, there was a point I was going to open up the back and clean it, but by just the little bit of work I did with it, it worked. And E. Hybert added a little extra story about no wind to stop where he didn't stop and he tells the whole story. And I think it's well worth reading. So go into the comments section and find out what his experiences was. He definitely spent some time on his education. Joe Miller sent a question about oil. Excellent video. I was wondering why you didn't, did not mention why you shouldn't use oil on the moving parts. Thanks for the video. Okay, Joe, the reason I didn't talk about oil or why you should add oil is because I don't know enough about oils and what type of oil would be correct to add to a measuring device to make it work better. But luckily, Andrew Waugh sent in a very detailed list of how to actually clean a clock or a watch using an ultrasonic bath. And the techniques that he talks about also would apply to that sort of gauge and any other gauge similar to that. And you don't want to take it apart you just want to clean it. And he also talks about the different types or a different type of oil, which is basically watch oil, which I don't have access to or I haven't really looked up. And I guess nowadays we have access to everything if we just go to Google and type it in and we can buy just about anything. So the right oil is really critical and I didn't want to mislead anybody and tell you the wrong oil. But Andrew Waugh, definitely takes care of that question. So go look them up into the Q&A, or go look them up under the comments in this section. Now let's go over to the vice handles. Train Tiger, another problem with the default handle is that it can, jam it can be jammed on the crossways. What he's talking about is on a Kurt vice you have the standard handle, he called it the default default handle. And it's great to turn and get it into position, but you need to remember to take it off the vise because if it's hanging down and your table's moving across, well, it could hit, tighten, or if you go in the other direction, it could loosen or vice versa, whichever. It can cause you some problems. So remember, if you're using the default handle, take it off every time and avoid problems. Train Tiger, great, great comment. Roger Steubing added an extra little comment about using a 3 quarter inch and a 7 8 end wrench. So you'd use both of them. Now, I like this particular style. It's a ratchet style. But I've got 3 quarters on one side, 7 8 on the other. And you can definitely have one tool take care of a couple different processes. So Roger, great, great suggestion. 
Telcrate asks the question about using a drill impact driver. Well, I worry about using that because they're designed for locking a nut or a bolt into place, not tightening something securely so it can be released later. The impact wrenches will vibrate and I think it could damage the thrust washer or the thrust bearings in your vise. Also, I think it could add extra wear to your vise that you don't want because of that pounding action. So you need to just be careful about it. I personally wouldn't use it um, just because of that reason that it could damage the vise. And the handles that come with it work really, really, really well. Dave1DHOFF added a, added a suggestion for a video about could I do another video with accessories like the different types of material stops? And the answer is yes. I have it planned to do that video. There's one stop that I don't have in my collection that I want to get before I do that video, but I do have plans for that. Now, what you guys have all been waiting for is the YouTuber of the week. YouTuber of the week is Perry's Garage. Perry has about 2,000 subscribers. He's been doing videos for about a year now. He has 72 videos as of this date. His video uploads, well, they're a little sporadic. He may not do anything for a month or two, but then he'll just boom, 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 pump them through. So I kind of like that, actually. He does some talking hands and also some FaceTime, which I always appreciate. Um, I don't want to just see hands. I want to see who's talking. So I love that. His video lengths are about 15, 20 minutes long. And the information he has is really great on the metal lathe and also the milling machine. So Perry, thanks for your videos. Just love your collection and your channel. Okay, guys, hope you liked this little video, the Q&A. If you did, give me some thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave your comments. And until next time, go out in your shop and build something cool. Thanks.